Hello everybody, I'm Robert, the CEO and co-founder at Cloud Sigma. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily um, clone drives. So create copies of drives, how you can actually move them to different tiers of storage um, as part of a wider storage strategy that you might implement uh, within your cloud infrastructure. So I'm already in the dashboard here and I'm going to go in and show you, uh, go to the storage section. So the way it works in Cloud Sigma is that drives and servers are separated um, because we have a very flexible model. So we allow you to uh, mount multiple drives on a single server, for example. We also allow you to um, have different types of storage mediums such as um, SSD. We also have magnetic. You can see here I have all different kinds of uh, drives and sizes. We also can even have uh, CD-ROMs. You can upload your own install CD-ROM or whatever it might be. So um, I'm going to go into a, um, a drive that I created earlier just for the, this purpose called database. You can see here that it's a eight gigabyte drive on distributed, distributed SSD, which is a very high performance um, type of storage that we have. And it's pretty much the, the main storage that people use for their compute uh, and their heavy workloads. So it's ideal for things like a database, which is why I gave it that name. Now, let's say for whatever reason, we wanted to create a copy of this. Maybe this was a golden image and we're cloning, or maybe I just want to create a backup. Um, I can simply go in and clone it. And just worth noting, you'll see I can also download it. So there's no data lock-in in Cloud Sigma. I could just simply download that directly from the web app. So anyway, um, I can clone this. So now I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I can give it a name. Um, let's call it Database Backup. And I can actually choose. So I'm going to put this on Scale Out Magnetic because um, it's cheaper um, and I don't really need performance because in this case, I just really want to back up of that data on a completely separated storage system for my protection. So you'll also notice you have the ability of multiple copies. So customers, we have customers that can need to scale out rapidly uh, systems where they might have um, golden images for worker nodes in a in a cluster, whatever it might be. And they will they, with this, they can simply over the API or manually go in and say, look, I need 10 copies of this right now, and we will quickly create 10 copies for them. So it's it's a really good way of being able to scale up uh, quickly your infrastructure. So obviously for a backup, I don't really need more than one copy for this use case. So I'm just going to say one copy on scale out magnetic. So I hit go, and it's now going to um, <clears throat> clone the drive that's on the SSD system across to the magnetic system. Um, and it'll once it's uh, done that initial uh, work, it'll it'll basically start cloning the data across. So that's now done, and you can see that the status has changed to cloning a source. That's to communicate to you that there's an active clone going on against that drive, and it's pulling off data. So if I go back to drives now, you'll see those two. So you'll see the one that's cloning as a source and the one that's um, cloning as a destination. This is the new drive that we've created on the magnetic storage. So that's really um, how you can clone. It's very, very easy. And we also have another video about snapshotting and how you can combine those two. You can snapshot and clone, and that allows you to um, take copies of live running systems as well. So it's, it's well worth looking at that video as well. Um, the main point to make is that we have a full featured storage management system here, and you can really define your own strategy in terms of how you want to store your data in, on SSD, on magnetic, what backup policies you want to implement, et cetera. And that's really in your hands to create a, a um, customized solution that's actually completely relevant to your organization. So with that, I'll thank you for your time and say happy computing.